Alright guys, for the most part the refrigerator has been all clean now, it's now the uh, next day. Um, I've taken everything out currently, you can see all the, uh, all the uh, bottles there, the margarita mix, the Diet Coke bottle. Um, these, these three cans are the, ones, are the ones that are gonna be safe because these two are intact. And this one expanded, but if I squeeze on it, it's still, it's still pressurized, so I know the seal is still okay. So these three, if it can stay up of course. So these three are the ones that are gonna be um, saved. And if we look inside now, you can see here's the door, all the shelves, everything. Totally, totally clean. Looks, looks nice and brand new again. So, uh, it, um, I used a product called Cinch, which is really great. And you can see everything is all clean now. Everything looks uh, nice and spotless, which is good. But there is one thing, though. Um, if you notice, I currently have the refrigerator uh, shut off. And the reason why I did that was because, as you know, because the freezer gets really cold, um, um, it gets ice buildup sometimes. And um, there was a lot of ice buildup. Um, it's since melted, but in the seam right here and um, all along here, in fact, it's still cold right now if I put my hand on it. It's been shut off since yesterday afternoon when I was cleaning it. Um, you can see that... Um, no, I'm sorry. Uh, this is where there was a bunch of ice buildup, and it's still kind of cold, so... Um, so here's what happens. As you know, uh, most modern refrigerators have a defrost cycle, and this one's working fine. But the problem is, there was so much ice buildup back here, I guess because it was on during the winter, which it really shouldn't be. There was so much ice buildup back here that <clears throat> it, it completely blocked the drain hole um, for, you know, where the water is supposed to go every time the ice melts. So as a result, the water has to go somewhere else, right? Well... If we go back down here, look at that. See the um, those aren't cracks in the glass. This is if I see all the water instead of going out to the drain pan down below goes here. And the way it does that is, you see those two holes there. Um, this is the air inlet from the evaporator fan, and these are the these are the air return slots right there. This is where the water has been coming out from because since the drain hole is completely blocked, um, the water has to go somewhere else, and that's its next destination. So you can see it's getting it got a bunch of water on the shelves. But um, the good thing is that um, once it's um, again the refrigerator is going to stay off until until tomorrow tomorrow morning probably before I go to work I'll uh, I'll turn it back on. And so, yeah, this really isn't that bad. I just gotta get a couple of rags, dry off the shelves, and then it'll be good to go. So, um, just, and that's another thing, um, especially because it can get pretty humid outside sometimes. That's, a, that's one reason why it's really good to make sure that your doors are completely closed and have a good seal. Because, um, otherwise a bunch of humidity is gonna, gonna get, um, sucked into there. And, um, even though it, um, it, it defrosts, the ice buildup can be so bad that this result happens, where the water goes onto the shelves or something. But, um, as of right now, it's pretty warm in here. I've since removed anything that can be, that can be spoiled. As you notice, the freezer was empty, too. So, I'm probably going to just, um, dry off these shelves. And then, um, once again, tomorrow morning, I'll probably, I'll probably, um, turn it back on, since it'll be all ready. And again, like, right along here... You probably can't see it in the video, but there's a little bit of condensation on here, and this is still pretty cool. It's not cold because it's been off for a, for a day, so um, so there's probably still some stuff that needs to completely drain out. So I'm going to let this um, completely drain out um, throughout the day, and then once again tomorrow morning I'll turn it back on and it should be good to go. And I'll make an update video on that once it's been running for a while, and I'll show you how all the shelves will stay dry, and I'll put all these uh, bottles back in and everything, and the margarita mix and everything, so... There you guys have it. The main the main goal was to get the refrigerator all, all clean, and it is all clean, so um, it looks nice once again. And this time we'll make sure not to leave cans inside here uh, throughout the winter, you know. <laughs> but that's just basically the main point, guys. Um, fix that defrost or ice problem, and then um, once this is all back together, and maybe once the cabana is cleaned, I'll get another video for you guys. All right. So as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll take care of that fly. Don't worry. <laughs> so as usual, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and take care.